railroad spikes. Can you make a knife out of them? And does it make a difference whether you use a used railroad spike or a brand new knife maker spike? Let's go find out. Railroad spikes are probably the most debated steel in bladesmithing. Some smiths say they're way too soft to ever be a real knife, while others treat them like a classic beginner project. They've been forged for decades, but the question never dies. Are they knife steel or just novelty? Railroad spikes come in two grades. You have your standard spike, and you have your spike that's stamped with HC, which stands for high carbon or higher carbon, usually around 0.3 to 0.4%. These spikes were designed for holding rails in place. They're easy to forge and widely available. In blacksmithing, spikes are novelty. They're recognizable, nostalgic. People love the story behind them. That's why you see them forged in the knives, bottle openers, hooks, just about anything you can imagine. Here's something to think about. Is there a real, testable difference between a spike found on the side of the tracks and a brand new one from a dealer? Used versus new. Would it really matter? I've always believed that if you can harden it, then you can make a knife out of it. So I'm really curious to see just what happens here. <laughs> as soon as I hit this, it was like, oh man, that's, that's not bending like I thought it was going to, but in reality it's it's super soft and it is just really thick so it, it was putting up a fight but uh only because of its thickness <clears throat> now i want you to tell me what you think will happen is it get a bend shatter snap or absolutely nothing Leave a comment. I think I was trying a little hard on this one, um, and I didn't get a good hit that, that first strike. But um, and I was like, "What? Come on!" And then I hit it again, and I was like, "Okay, this is you know stiff. It's it has some rigidity to it. Definitely not like the control." And you know, I was just like, "Okay, well, let's let's break this thing. Let's get this thing bent over." And we just started wailing on it. Let me know what you think. Ben Shatter, Snap or Nothing. Let's do it. Let's see who's right. Now, I did connect a little better on this one, but it, it felt considerably softer. It didn't bend that much more than the water did on the first hit, but it, it felt softer. And I was like, all right, here we go. That's basically what I was thinking. 
you know, the oil didn't quite get it as hard. And so, you know, being bound and determined to snap this thing in two, that's what we did. Being that we annealed both of these, I, I wasn't expecting anything different from the control um, versus the used or the new with the known carbon content in it. And it performed exactly how I expected it to perform. There, there wasn't any surprise at all going into this control test here. You all know what to do by now. Leave a comment whether it's going to bend, shatter, snap, or nothing. I hit this so hard and so square, and it did nothing. Maybe, maybe slightly bent, right? And I was like, okay, this is not happening. And so I just started wailing on this thing. And it just didn't do anything. I was super surprised that nothing happened here. I mean, it didn't even remotely come close. All right, we just saw the water. What do you think? Bend, shatter, snap, or nothing? Leave a comment. Right before this hit, I was like, oh, this is gonna bend so bad based on how the water was, and this was the oil quench, and I couldn't have been more wrong. I was like, what? I was more surprised by the oil than I was by the water. And I was just like, this is, this is not, you know, how this is supposed to go. It's not what everybody says about railroad spikes. You know, they are, you know, trash deal for knife making. Question mark. Post temper. What's going to happen? Ben shatter snap or nothing I was like temper this is gonna you know absolutely bend and it did and if I could hit it squarely I would have had a, a little bit better result here but we eventually got it um, but I was still pleasantly pleased by the way this used spike performed where you could get it at least the outer layer is pretty hard, you know, and you could make a nice letter opener out of this stuff. Come on, let me see those comments there. Ben Shatter, Snap, or Nothing. Let's see what we got. Based on the water post temper. Kind of knew this was gonna move a whole lot more, and actually, it didn't. I was really surprised. It moved about the same. I mean, it had this the same amount of rigidity. It actually felt very similar to the water, and this is the oil, mind you, right? And it just didn't want to go. Now, this could be, you know, basically, oh, it's a shorter piece. You have less leverage, but I mean, we're comparing these. To together, water versus oil. <clears throat> Remember, this did not break in the first snap test. What do you think is going to happen now? I hit this and was like, come on. Are you kidding me? I mean, 400 degrees for two hours on a water quench with a steel that's perceived as being basically mild steel because they don't people don't recognize that they have a little bit of carbon in them to me it's outstanding 
absolutely outstanding. But we're not going to walk away from this snap test without breaking it. So what we end up end up doing is breaking out the big guns. I was not taking this out of this vise without breaking this piece of metal. I right, last one. Ben shatter snap or nothing. Let's hear it. Now this didn't break before, and of course, a proven fact that apparently I'm not accurate with a hammer. We get some cool sparks though. I mean, that's great if we were doing a let's try and spark video, but we're not. So <laughs> we're trying to break this, and it's it's not happening. Uh, I was really pleased with this outcome here and it, w it tells me so much about what you can do with this steel uh, so it was it was great worked out great we didn't end up breaking it though had to break out the big guns to do it but we end up breaking it railroad spikes are they good steel I would have to say yes but with some parameters attached to that. Regular spikes you find along the railroad? Probably not. Maybe save those for bottle openers and stake turners and hooks and stuff like that. Spikes you buy brand new? You know the carbon content? Yeah. Absolutely. You can go freaking make a knife out of that. For beginners, make a knife out of anything you can get your hands on, to be honest. Because you just need to practice, play, have fun, work on design. Am I going to continue making knives out of railroad spikes? Absolutely. I got whole boxes of these brand new spikes. You guys just saw it. How they hardened up. I've always said if you can harden it, you can make a knife out of it. Stay safe out there. Be well. And as always, poor job.